the physical and visual and personal and spatial interaction with a book is really something you can't get from anything else. So the death of the book is highly overrated. What did Mark Twain say? That my, my death has been, reports of my death have been greatly exaggerated. Reports of the death of the book have been greatly exaggerated. Printed Matter was founded in 1976 by a group of individuals working in the arts. We work on a practical level as a distribution mechanism to help artists who are publishing books as artworks get them out into the world. To have the feel and the energy of printed matter in the gallery space was really important. We went through hundreds of these documents in programming ephemera that you see on the walls and in the vitrines, threading together the storyline of printed matter. It was founded in response to this phenomena of artists making, making their works in book form because of the social and political possibilities of the book as a vehicle for information and the book is a public form of art and that you can do large editions and have uh, large audiences and the book is an alternative space. Once people had accessible printing technologies they would you know do their own do their own publishing, make their own media about things that weren't represented or that they were interested in. The bookmaking studio in the back was equipped with a risograph, letterpress, photocopier, silk screen, and there are six artists in residence led by a fine art student here, Anna Bugby. I think younger generations, they realize that the virtual kind of social spaces and communities that happen online and stuff do not displace physical and real communities. And so the possibility of creating uh, alternative, sustainable economy of book production is, is almost palpable in amazing resurgence of artist publishing activity, which is kind of interesting in this kind of digital age when mainstream media has been talking about the death of the book. and and the mainstream publishing industry is in crisis. We're actually seeing like a new generation of young people totally fascinated with the book.